Hey YouTube, it's me for Cory again, doing another review. I haven't done a review or uh, any video on YouTube for a while, and this will probably be uploaded uh, at my rate in 2018, but this is, it is um, 2017 when I upload this, and it's five days since my YouTube channel turned seven. I didn't do a video for that because, well, I didn't feel like it and didn't, wasn't as excited this year for it being seven, but my YouTube channel is now seven at the time of making this. It'll be more than that later on, but it just turned seven less than a week ago at the time of filming this. Um, here, uh, yeah, it's a Lego set review, and, um, my thing with Lego City is, uh, I've never actually gotten a set before besides that, uh, poly bag with, you know, the car and whatever, but, uh, this set caught my attention. It's the first set that I found really interesting for its price. Um, it comes with this minifigure right here, this female, I guess that's all you can call, and this male, and then this dog, so I guess that's three, if you count the dog as one, or only two if you don't. Here's the top, which shows the scale of the minifigure. Uh, here's the back. There's uh, just this on the bottom, this on this side, and this on this side. Uh, there's probably a video with better description. Here's this um, right here. I'm going to try to zoom in. Uh, you can see that... Uh, what do I have to say about that? Um, well, it shows that this uh, that it splits in half. Well, you know, opens unrealistically. And it comes with, you see, a uh, car... A van and a caravan, which is basically a travel trailer slash RV. Oh, and you hold them together using that little piece right there, see? And uh, it comes with a little grill. And here's them connected. And uh, this hair piece right here, I've never actually seen a female use it apart from a certain city racing set, but I mean, these were released about the same time. The first time I've actually seen a female use that hair piece. I'll do a... Time for the speed build. Here is a review on the 60117 Van and Caravan from Lego. I would like to mention some things. It comes with this little barbecue, which I quite enjoy. It comes with little Lego hot dogs. So now you can have many figures with hot dogs. Unfortunately, no hot dog buns are included. And the set also includes many spare pieces how many spare pieces there were. And this is a $20 set. Actually, I think I got it for way cheaper than that because it was Walmart. But look at this. Look at this. A lot of spare pieces, huh? For a set of this size, that's a lot. It comes with three minifigures, as you can see. I decided to place them there so you could see them well. I will zoom in. And I did turn on all my lights, including the outside light, to get as much light in as possible. And here's this. There's this male, there's this female, and there's this dog. Two minifigures if you don't con consider the dog a minifigure. Sorry about that. And the dog, it can stand on pieces, as you saw. It, uh, this is as far as I can zoom in. But uh, it's got printing on the head. I'm not sure if you can see it right there, but it's black. And it's like tan all over. Besides the head, not really tan. I don't know what you call it. It's like in between brown and tan. Like caramel. That's the word. The color word. Uh, it's hard to snap it in, but uh, you can do it. And it also has like a stud on it, so you can like, I don't know, put something on its back. I don't know what you would put on its back, but uh, here's the male. And uh, he comes with gray pants, as you can see. And he comes with a blue, uh, I don't know you'd call this, uh, business casual shirt. I don't know, because it has buttons on it. And it has like a tie. Um, you're probably not going to see this on camera. Maybe I'll put him into the light a little bit better. But he has like, yeah... This is way better. He has a little tie, um, you know, those little flaps for it to putting a tie in. Um, the, he has generic yellow, like all the City minifigures are. I believe the only series that mixed yellow with um, flesh is the Lego Movie series. He has brown hair, the same hair piece that was used on Mutt Williams, and the very most generic Lego uh, minifigure face head for this time, with a plain smile and no double-sided head. Um, Jock uses the same head, but, you know, flush printed. And you know that I have a jock, because I showed him in my uh, box that I got of those Indiana Jones minifigures. Here's the female. By the way, these are not named minifigures. They don't have names. She has this very, um, this hair is like orange. It's similar to Ron's color. It's like, yeah, it's exactly like Ron's color. It's like orange brown. Yeah, they'll say redhead, but it's not really, if you care. Uh, I was having her hold the bone. Anyone could do it. I, I remember this that come with two bones, but uh, it took me a while to build because I... Uh, 
did other stuff, but um, I must have lost one over time, or it did come with one. Maybe I'll look back at my videos to figure this out, but uh, she does not come with a double-sided head, so I'm not going to show you, but she doesn't come with a double-sided head, but this is a hair piece I was introduced in the, with the Prince, and Persia, Prince of Persia theme in 2010, and uh, even though it's a long hair piece, uh, this is the first time that I've actually seen a female with it. This would be a perfect hair piece for your custom Nymphadora Tonks, which I don't believe this is still not available in pink. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this hair piece exists in pink yet. It didn't definitely in 2011, well, late late 2011. However, um, I don't remember his channel name, but he did like sort of stop motion recreation of all eight Harry Potter films with not giving the characters their real names, like uh, Sna uh, Severus Snape is greasy hair, Professor, and there might have been a female who used this hairpiece before, I'm just not aware of it. Um, but he used uh, this hairpiece for Nymphador Tonks, except it was way darker brown, but this is like more close to her color. She does come with this shirt, I don't know what you'd call that kind of shirt, it's like a tank top, and then she comes with like, I don't know if it's a zipper jacket, it probably is a zipper jacket, but it splits. And you can see she has a smile with lipstick, and she has tan pants. Let me review the set itself in this position. Just setting down the camera. I've been holding on the tripod this whole time, so I need to zoom out a bit. Let's just take these off. And uh, these do split, so you can have the van by itself. See? And you see this is my scale for my hand. And uh, these do come off, so you can place your minifigures inside. The van does come with a license plate, which uh, I'll zoom in. Which you can read right there, which I'm not going to read it, but you can pause the video if you care, or just go watch someone else's video who's probably way better than me. Because isn't that always true? But I'm like Legos right now. And this is a really cool set. I'm not sure if I've told you yet in this video, but I don't really like City that much as a theme. It's like, I don't really care about it. But this is the mo most interesting set I've actually seen from City. I do not know of all of them. There might have been another interesting set in the past, but this is a really cool one. And, uh... So yeah, and uh, this thing, this trailer right here, uh, the, I don't know you call it, the caravan. Uh, that's what the box says. Uh, it also has a license plate, if you can see. Not one on the front, though. Which, yeah, the car does have one on the back. And also, yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I'm not going to show you again, but uh, these are, um, like, are transparent, that's the word. And I'm going to zoom in and actually just adjust the camera a bit. And I'm standing as I do this review, so... Here's this. Uh, you have to remove that, and then you can open it up. See, it can open, so you have a little dollhouse play feel. And it comes with two mugs, a yellow and a red one. So I guess you could give one to each minifigure. To I guess, then, and then there's actually, one of them is actually in a coffee maker. So now you no longer have to make your own custom one. Although this isn't really a coffee maker, it's three. It's a, it's three pieces put together, which, uh, you probably won't see what, oh yeah that's a good shot but you'll see that this is actually just like three pieces and then they called it a coffee maker isn't it so easy this only has one wheel in the middle see so um it does lean one it does lean one way sometimes leans one way now it is but uh sometimes it actually stays straight Let's zoom out let me show you the inside of the van see here's the driver's seat and it actually does have a little seat right there and uh and here's the passenger seat, although there's no, like, back protection. So, um, you can put your two minifigures in there. If you, uh, do this, you can put the dog in there, but it won't be able to stick. And then you push this guy's arms forward. Well, you don't have to, but it makes it look like he's driving. And you can put these back on. Wait. And you can have the van just be a normal van. And it does have the trailer hitch. My van doesn't have a trailer hitch. And uh, my mom really wants to get a travel trailer, so I might put this inside of it if she gets one. See? And, uh, yeah, it has that holding it together on the bottom. And the other one, here's that. I highly recommend this set to anyone who likes Lego and who likes vehicles. And so here's the box again. Uh, zoom out. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll do this. Here's the box again. Uh, here's this side of it. And I guess I'll show you some stuff in the instruction book. The instructions are actually separate. Like, there's the one for the um, caravan, and here's the one for the van, and the minifigures, and the grill that I mentioned. They have some stuff at the back. 
Like, here's some advertisement for collect all the city sets, although I'm not that kind of guy. I never buy expensive sets. I don't need them. I really just don't. And plus, no one watches my videos anyway on YouTube. Maybe they would if I bought expensive sets. And uh, here's more uh, stuff here. However, I'm not going to show you those the best. And anyway, you don't need to go to my video for a reference. You can get every, like, Lego instructions, like, that's made after, like, 1975 on their website. And you can look at the back there. And um, there's no advertisements in the first one. So, uh... I think that I'm going to say I recommend this set to Lego fans and or vehicle fans and travel trailer fans. Thanks for watching. I'd love you to make comments. I love the silly comments I get and the reasonable ones. I love likes and I love subscribers and views. Please view this video. Watch it again and again for me to get more views. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.